So today, I want to talk about Serata Uchiha's new design in Boruto. Her redesign from what she had in the movie and Naruto Gaiden to what she had in the uh, movie. I mean, not the movie, the anime and the manga. Now, if you don't know what the difference is, I'll probably put a picture somewhere on screen here. But in Boruto Gaiden and Boruto Naruto the movie, they're very Kishimoto, no fan service, very like practical for combat, definitely something you could see a girl that was in life or death situation all the time wearing. But then we get to the Boruto anime and it's not a fan of the anime because it's very anime-ish, like it's harder to notice. It actually looks fine in the anime, if I'm being honest. Nah, no, besides the heels. The heels are stupid. I'll get to the heels in a bit. But, uh, no, but the, it still looks fine in the anime. In the manga, it just looks really sexualized. There's a couple of shots where you would almost, if he wanted to, be able to see her panties. And it's just... Listen, what makes Naruto, at least for me, so great, especially what, even if you ask the Sakura haters, the one thing they will tell you about Sakura... Why are my glasses tilted? That's better. But no, the one thing everybody will tell you about Sakura that is true... ...is that Sakura was never sexualized. There was not one fan of Naruto that liked its heroine for the way she looked. And that thing... There are a lot of people in one in the One Piece and Blake fandom... ...who like Orihime and like Nami and Robin... Because of their boobs, because 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 they're pretty and they're hot and yeah, I like a good hot girl. I like I like hot girls. I, I, I'm straight. I like girls. Boobs are nice. But um, no. But I I have to be honest with you. When you have to sacrifice the character's realisticness, relatability, and their character arc for it, I don't think it's worth it. I would much rather the lead hero in a story be ugly, but be very interesting. And practical for her outfit to make sense than to her to wear a really hot outfit and for her to be really smoking hot. I mean, honestly, I, I can I can go watch porn. If I want to look at a hot girl, I can watch I can watch I can go watch porn. If I want to see a hot animated girl, I can go watch some hentai. But no, but the one thing that made Naruto great was that it never sexualized the characters. And then yet, in part one, what Sakura wore wasn't very practical. It was a really long red dress. But you have to understand that was the whole point of her character. That was that hell. That was the whole point in Sakura's character arc in part one. Was the fact that that she needs that she was doing impractical things like wearing a dress, like wearing the, that long dress that had long hair. All of them were very impractical in her line of work to impress Sasuke. And the whole point of her character arc was for her to realize I'm not strong enough that to be able to wear a dress in battle. Like I'm not. Like people my or I have long hair. My enemy is going to grab my hair and use it to like pin me down. My enemy is going to use but I can't run as fast. She can't run as fast in a dress. Like that was the whole point of Sakura's character arc. To realize the importance of being practical and do and, and making sure and not worrying about appearances, but worrying about what will work in combat. Then you get Serata, who is 12 and a Genin, and wearing heels. Now, let me just explain something here. Serata and Sakura wear heels. I noticed, I noticed. I'm not stupid. I noticed that they wear heels. But then you also know that Sakura didn't start doing that until she became, like, Ganin level, like it tells you with Azunade level of power, meaning indirect, which it indirectly means she's around the same strength level of Jiraiya and Arushimaru. I mean, you know, all the Azunade weren't the exact same, like, I've always said it was Zunade, Jiraiya, Arushimaru, in my opinion, but they were close enough. Sakura didn't start wearing heels and she was on, until she was on that level of power. Like the power level of the, of like, Kage level ninja. That, so, the heels that her and Zunade wear make sense. They're incredibly powerful and incredibly skilled. Like, you could, like, they can easily, like, you could, I could easily pin their Sakura and Zunade being able to fight in any outfit, wearing anything on their feet. Hell, Zunade and Sakura could, could most likely fight with, could most likely fight while doing a handstand if they wanted to. They're, they're like, uh, Zunade's a Kage, Sakura's a Joni. 
Like, they have the level of skill to do these things. Serana doesn't. Serana is a guinea. There is no way in hell I can believe Serana can do the thing she does in manga chapter 11 effectively wearing high heels. I'm sorry, I've seen women struggle to run wearing high heels. There is no way if women struggle to run wearing high heels, a 12 year old Genny can have the, can do the things Serana did in that chapter. That tied you to did? That was some rockly shit. Like, no, I refuse to believe she could do that while wearing high heels. I refuse. And it's unpractical, and it's stupid, and, and then there's the... And then there's that line, that translation about not her the boss, not being her her type. I mean, I think that was a mistranslation, I hope to God that was a mistranslation. Because I'm sorry, that that's a turn off of a theory. If the heroine is going to be that kind of character, that is actually a major... I, I, I can't. Like, no, I hope to God to translate. That's a major turn off for a theory for me. When, when young girls, like, when old, when doing things like that, when older men, no. No, that's a major turn off. But Serata's design, it just, even the skirt, it's like, okay, it bothers me, it really does, because she's 12. Okay, listen, is this, is that, like, if Sakura had worn something like that in, like, the last, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't. Like, we would not be having anything. If it was like Sakura wearing that outfit, none of us would be talking about this. In fact, considering how she looks in, our, in the Boruto movie, a lot of us would probably be pretty damn happy because she's legal and we're not, and we're not pedophile for enjoying it anymore. But no, but, um, well, you know, I mean, she was 15 in Boruto. And, and no, Sakura's 15 in Boruto, yeah. Sakura's 15 in Shippuden. But the point is, is that it's because Serana is 12 that it's weird. Like, say what you want about Sakura, she would never sexualize. She wasn't, and I plan on doing a video about the sexualization in Naruto, that sexualization eventually, but she would never sexualize. And I'm worried they're going to sexualize Serana. But all in all, I don't like her new outfit. It actually kind of weirds me out, like... Like, luckily she's a badass. Luckily Serana's really damn cool. Because if she wasn't, then it would just be, then she would just be the annoying female character that would be annoyingly, like, perverted, revealing outfit, and she's 12, so it's just, so it's not, so it's not, like, hot, it's just, like, creepy, and make you feel, like, really uncomfortable when you're reading the manga, but, and, for some reason, I don't know why, but it's a lot less creepy in the anime, it really is. Like, she wears, she's not wearing her guy then outfit in the anime. Like, some people say she is, she isn't, she's wearing the same thing she does in the manga. I don't know why. I did, it, 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 the way they draw, the, or the guy draws it in the manga, I gotta learn this bastard's name, by the way, but the way he draws her in the manga just makes me really uncomfortable looking at her. Like, it, it makes me feel like I'm pervertedly looking at a 12 year old girl. And that saddens me, because one thing I liked about, one thing I liked about Naruto is, I could watch Naruto with my grandparents. I thought that my One Piece Sexualization, Sexualization, the One Piece Sexualization video which will be linked in the description. Um, my grandparents, very religious people, very, like, you know, very freaked out, but I could watch Naruto in their house. They could look at me watching an episode of Naruto, and you, they, they wouldn't freak out over anything sexual. Because Naruto has never been a sexual theory, which has been great. But, I mean, this is, it, it, it depresses me. It really depresses me that he, he, they're using content like this. So, yeah, tell me your thoughts on Serata's new design in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more videos. It's a One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys.